Hello and welcome TCL fans. I'm your host Joseph Moya here bringing you week two of the Terminus Challenger League. As you remember, we did lose week one, but let's go ahead and try to get this win against Allen Knight in here in week two. As you can see, he's the coach of the Lost Lucario. And uh, his team's a little different than he had last week. He got pretty cleaned up last week in a battle. So he's he made a lot of changes and he's looking to overcome that this week. He also has a rain team, so I didn't bring rain myself, hoping he would bring uh, rain to set us up. So at least we have that there. We do have sticky weds to slow down the floatzel. So uh, King Drug can outspeed in, uh, in the rain. So let's go ahead and get this battle started and see how it goes this week. All right, so we're going to go ahead and lead off Bartender. And he straight up lead Floatzel. So I'm just going to go for the Sticky Webs here. We could take any hit. And I don't think he expected us to lead Chuckle. But we get our Sticky Webs up, so we're good there. Now we can switch out to Roots, our Tangro, and yeah, we eat that, no problem. So now I would assume he switches out into uh, Zapdos, so I'm just going to go for the Sleep Powder here. Oh, and he actually goes for the Weavile. But we do get our Sleep Powder off. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to Kamikaze here. Yeah, because he's under web, so we're faster. He stays asleep. We get our burn. So now we can just click uh, Facade and just start hitting things. So anything he brings in isn't going to want to take a hit. So Lucario takes some damage. He might have Bullet Punch, but we should live it. No problem. Let's go ahead and just go for the Facade again. And we're just going to punch holes in his team now. Alright, so the drip goes down his polytoad. Now the real question is, is do I outspeed Floatzel while it's in the rain? So I'm going to go ahead and out for that real quick. Well, oh, so in the rain, minus one. So we don't outspeed that if he's max speed. So I'm just going to go to roots here. He goes for the ice thing, but clearly it doesn't do much. There is no rocky helmet in this, uh, in this league. I mean, yeah, because of BDSP. So that kind of sucks, but I'm just going to go for the Giga Drain as he goes to Weavile here. And I'm going to play it safe and go to Bartender. He clearly doesn't have Defog or he would have went to it by now. And uh, on the off chance he misses his next... Uh, High school crash. Okay, so he doesn't. Alright, so Kamikaze is going to come back in. We're just going to click facade. We should live an ice shard. Very low, but we should live it. Hopefully he just doesn't have it. Doesn't seem like he does. And Weavile goes down. So the big threat to Tangrowth is gone. Now he's going Zapdos here. I'm going to just go for the U-turn and go into Raikou here. No. Yeah, that's probably their best bet. We're going to go to Raikou here, our Saber. Thunderbolt doesn't do much. And again, I don't think he has Defog, so that's a good thing. So we're just going to Thunderbolt here. Does a good chunk. He might roost. Oh, he does go defog. So we lose webs for the rest of the battle. 
but shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I'm gonna go for the bolt switch on the on the off chance we kill, and we do. All right, and we should outspeed everything else on his team. Uh, no rain. At normal speed. Okay, so we do outspeed Weavile. Unless he has Aqua Jet, but I mean, he might. He might not. I'm just going to go for the facade here. It, this outspeeds us if it's Scarf. And it was Scarf. Okay. At least we know it's scarfed in the moon blast here. So I'm going to I'm going to light screen. No. What should I do here? I'm gonna wish. And it's, he still hasn't shown what kind of moves he has on Lucario. So I'm just going to go Saber here. Okay, so it's special. So good thing we didn't go to Roots. We get our Wish off. And now we're just going to Volt Switch out. Alright, it does have a priority move. So there we go with the Vacuum Wave. We're going to go straight to Furby. Because Roots will just live anything if Floatzel comes in. And Furby is our uh, wiggly tough. So we'll just go to Roots here. Goes Ice Fang. Gets 30%. But I think he'll switch here. I'm just going to go for the Poison Jab. Oh, okay. No, he stays in. Goes for another Ice Fang. Gets another 20% off. Okay, so I'm going to go with the Giga Drain here. Just to get some health back. Regenerator. We're about to switch to Wigglytuff again. So Wigglytuff is made to take these special attacks. Alright, so we got a Moonblast. I'm going to go Light Screen here. Just to make sure we keep our defenses up. Because Furby's going to go down eventually. And I'm going to go for the Hyper Voice. Oh, Competitive activates. We get a good hit off on Gardevoir. So we're just going to keep clicking Hyper Voice. And that should be the battle. I mean, we're going to lose Furby there. I'm going to go Saber here to play it safe. And just go for a Thunderbolt and end this battle. So, as long as there's no crits or anything, we should be able to get the kill here. And that's a GG to Alan Knight. We are now 1-1. One and one. And not too, doing too bad. I like our team, comp uh, the way our team's built. Uh, Swellow is a really big uh, help in just popping holes in the defensive team. And uh, Wigglytuff support actually came in clutch this week. Uh, Kingdra didn't get to really touch the field, but as you can see, Tangrowth is a tank. Saber does what it needs to do with this Volt Switching and Thunderbolt. And we'll see if we can keep the momentum going into week three. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.